Hello. Hello, Andrea. Uh, one second. She's right here. Hello. Oh, hi, Andrea. Uh, good morning. My name is Antoinette Happy. I'm calling for the Outagamie Deputy Sheriff's Association. How have you been doing? Do you mind if I take this call, ma'am? I'm the husband of Andrea. My, my name is Gerald. Oh, This is Gerald. When you answered. Um, so how is it going today, Gerald? Very good. I'm standing in front of the stove. I'm about ready to make myself and uh, my wife a delicious omelet. We just got done walking our dog, Tully. How are you doing today? Uh, well, I'm doing good today. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear you guys are doing well. You know, to come to think of it, you know, did you notice yesterday it was gloomy? Now today it's all sunny. It's cold is, out there, though. It's a little brisk. Yeah, it is. I know it. I know it. It's now, me, you know, um, it's got to be a good cold because otherwise the sun wouldn't be out. <laughs> the uh, other day where it was near 70, it was like the very definition of Indian summer, though. Wow. Like, that was an amazing yeah. day. I don't know if you got outside that day, but it was amazing. Yes, it was, actually. Um, it's funny that you should mention that because... I was just talking to somebody like, oh, what was it, about two or three weeks ago, um, and we were talking about the Indian summer, and I I really thought it happened already, and I was like, just thinking the other day, wow, this had to be the Indian summer, because this never happens in, in November, you know, so I think we just got it late, but it was pretty nice, actually, um, and It does make a difference, and we do appreciate you. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know that we're having a charity concert Thursday, December 7th at Grand Meridian. Um, and it's actually the last uh, show that we're going to have there because it is going to become a church at the end of December. Oh, wow. Uh, but, yeah, but the pro Well, there'll still be music you know, there then. That's a good uh, thing. Right. Um, and, but the proceeds raised are going to stay in our community in the Fox Valleys and Otagami County. Um, and it's going to support things like Make-A-Wish, We Care Meals, Down Syndrome Association. That's just to name a few. Um, we were hoping that we could count on yours and Andrea's involvement again this year. Um, and just like in the past, I would mail everything out to you guys, including tickets for the show if you'd like and a tax. Um, now, most folks are holding out with the concerned citizens. Those are a little bit higher. Those are 75, 50, and 35. And then we do have the helping hands for 25, 15, and 10. Now, I did not mention who we're welcoming. It is going to be Eric Diamond doing the ultimate tribute to the uh, So, is there any way that we could count on your guys' involvement again this year? The this is this is the interesting fact you know like i love helping out the police charities like i get a lot of phone calls from you guys and i always am willing to listen and uh and hear what you guys have your say and i thank you for what you guys are doing i found a new outlet oh i had a phone call from one of the police charities recently and uh it was for the nina police department and and they had this amazing thing that they told me. I said, would you like to deliver your money to the police department? So I walked in there, talked to the police department. I made a new friend, a young lady named Haley. You know, it was one of the more positive things that's happened to me in a long time. If I can give this money to a police officer, I might do that. Do you guys uh, have... What, what what's the address where is this going okay so um actually what uh we would do okay this is how 
how it kind of works is we send you out a packet in the mail and uh, we include an envelope and that you can use to put your check or money order in and then you can take it directly to the sheriff's department on go, uh, Goodland Drive in Appleton or you can simply drop it in the mail um, or even the night of the show if you'd like to take it with you and hand it to the person at the door that's acceptable as well um, you know so I mean it does put a little bit more of a legit legitimacy on it because of the fact that you are able to drop it at the sheriff's department and people feel a lot better being able to do that you know yeah um, so well, the, the... And I believe that it is yeah Robert Clement is who is heading up our local project this year okay um, yeah, so um, and we are nonprofit as well. Um, and you guys have been helping out for, oh, geez, uh, looks like, well, for some years now, like since 17, 2017, 2018, something like that. Um, so we do definitely appreciate you guys. Um, and it really does make a big difference, and it does help out the things that I named and, and many others as well, you know. Um, we even help out the Outagamie County Fair uh, for 4-H for livestock auction, stuff like that, you know. Um, so, I mean, really, it really is about your involvement. That is what is the most important. Um, so, I mean, even if you could help out with something like 10 bucks one time this year, it still goes a long way for the programs. Um, now, uh, the only other thing that I need would need to tell you is for each $20 donation you're able to help with, I can in turn send you tickets from the show. Um, now oh, if there's no need for that. We have an uh, autistic son, so we never uh, go to the shows. So you can, okay. if we did you know, donate them, you can just kind of pay those forward to someone that maybe want, may want to go sort of thing. So yeah, you yeah. can send As us. As a matter of fact, I was just going to say, uh, if you didn't want to go or couldn't go, we could donate them into the community yep. for someone who would like to go who can't afford it, you know. Yeah, if I can um, deliver it to the sheriff's department, you can put me down for $50, and I'll, I'll get it there. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that is a huge blessing for us, um, and that is a very generous donation of well, $50. Um, now, uh, I will donate two tickets into the community. Are you sure you don't want to go? Yep, positive, positive. Okay. Okay. You know, hey, right. sweet Caroline, you, know, you want me to sing it for you? Where it began, I can't begin to know it. No, I'm not gonna ruin your day. You know what? Oh, but no. but I do love me some Neil Diamond. I ain't gonna lie. You have an amazing day. Yeah, yeah. You, if you if you said if you said don't quit your day job, I would not hang up on you. I'm not that type of person. Well, I'm glad to know that there are folks out there like that, yeah, Gerald. You know what? We're we're a dying breed, and you know I know you probably get hung up on a lot and probably get disrespected a lot. I hope I hope that this phone call makes you feel better about yourself and what you're trying to do. Like there's a lot of charities out there that, you know, there's rules where the charity that themselves can keep like 90% of the money and then 10% goes to whatever cause that they're talking about. But if I feel I can put the money in the police officer's hands, that's a good deal. And that's because of you. So I hope you have a great day and are happy with what you're doing. I, I am, Gerald, and thank you so much for that. Um, you do have a very caring heart. Uh, don't ever lose it. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you and your family. I just want to quickly verify, Gerald, are you still at the 65? Yes, I am. That is where we are. We're never leaving. This house is going to fall down upon us. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And uh, you guys, uh, really, I, I really loved talking with you guys. A very, very good conversation. Right. Um, and you guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your week ahead. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Oh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too, Gerald. Bye-bye now. Spam and eggs. <laughs>